My name's Tom Poles. I'm here at ASCO 23 in sunny Chicago. I'm going to talk about some of the renal cancer highlights. I'm going to start with CONTACT-03. This is a randomized phase three study in patients with clear cell renal cancer. They've got advanced disease and they've had previous treatment and they've most recently progressed on immune therapy. The trial compares cabozatinib, which is a VEGF targeted therapy, with cabozatinib plus atezolizumab, which is a PDL1 inhibitor. The results were really conclusive. They conclusively showed that the addition of atezolizumab, which is basically continuing with more therapy, has no benefit over cabozatinib alone. The OS results, the PFS results were really clear, and there was more toxicity by giving the combination. And therefore, we're in a scenario currently where once you've had your frontline immune checkpoint inhibition and, you've, and the patient has progressed, giving further immune checkpoint inhibition is not currently recommended. So in some respects, it's a practice informing trial because many of us have been sequencing these drugs in the past. It suggests to me that you get one good go at immune checkpoint inhibition and retreatment after progression is probably futile. I think that's an important finding. I also wanted to talk about 426 and the CLEAR trial, axipembrolizumab versus sunitinib and lenvatinib and pembrolizumab versus sunitinib. We still saw the five and four year data respectively for those two. What they showed us was response rates remain high, progression-free survival remains impressive, and there is still a significant benefit in overall survival. There was some dilution in that survival signal. Some of the early overall survival was really impressive with hazard ratios in the 0.5s. And they've gone now to more like mid, mid 0.7s to 0.8. That's still a statistically significant benefit. People try and do cross trial comparisons between this data set, the IPNEVO data set, and the CABO NEVO data set. What I can tell you is that each of these landmarks, the confidence intervals as we go out, overlap. And essentially, therefore, this cross-trial comparison is somewhat futile. It's still the case that all of these regimes are a standard of care. It's still the case that you can choose the regime. I accept that Axipembro, Ipinevo, Cabonevo have higher response rates and longer PFS. I also accept that the long-term data of Ipinevo appears to catch up with those combinations. And so the four and five year data has similar survival. I still believe that you should pick one of those regimes and use it well. Each of the regimes has an advantage. Ipinevo, you don't have the long-term VEGF TKI therapy. Axipembro, I think Axisinib is easy to give. Lenpen has the highest response rate. And Cabonevo had that quality of life data that we like. This is again practice informing. I don't think it's going to change guidelines, but we're learning more and more about this disease. One of the questions which I'm interested in answering is how long do we need to keep going with the immune therapy for and how long do we need to keep going with the VEGF TKI for? We don't know the answer to those questions. Thank you for your attention.